and I was frustrated. There's no telling where he was, you know, where he had been and who he was dealing with while I was serving time. I was so frustrated that I went and over top of the word love, I started writing the word hate. H-A-T. I have dreams. dreams. I think it's the energy in the air. There were times I just thought I was gonna die. I just had gotta tell you that I had a real frightening dream last night. Um, this is so hard because it's such a reality check because it's only two of us up here. And she's so missed. It is safe to say we were all shocked by her death. We watched in real time as she showed us her trauma, and we also watched as she eventually died. Of course, we all thought it was just an accident. But if the stories are to be believed, there might just be more to it. At least that is what it appears her team member is saying. t -Boz recently had a moment that grabbed everyone's attention. She got so emotional. Why? Because she wants the world to know the real story behind the tragic passing of her dear friend and bandmate, Lisa Left Eye Lopes. You might think you know what happened, but I bet t Boz's story would likely shock you. This is so hard because it's such a reality check because it's only two of us up here. And she's so missed. But we want to thank everybody for your support. Imagine that. It's like there's a whole other side to the story we never knew about. And it looks like t Boz is ready to spill the beans. It's not just any old gossip. This is a heartfelt revelation from someone who was right there in the midst of it all. Get ready to be hooked as t Boz unravels the mystery surrounding Lisa's death. This is a story you won't want to miss. So grab a tissue, because this is more than just a headline. It's a heart-to-heart -heart from one friend to another. Let's dive in and discover the untold truth together. Lisa Left Eye. Lopez was a singer with a story full of twists and turns, like something out of a movie. You might remember her as part of TLC, one of the biggest girl groups ever, but there's more to her than just the music. Growing up, Lisa had a tough time. Her dad was really strict, even abusive. She found comfort in music, though. With her siblings, she formed a singing group called The Lopes Kids. Music was her escape. Then came her big break. She joined TLC, along with Tion Watkins and Rosanda Thomas, known as Chili. TLC became super famous, but Lisa's life wasn't all glitz and glamour. Back in the 90s, TLC was on top of the world. They had it all, the fame, the fortune, and the music that ruled the charts. With hits like Waterfalls and Creep, they were unstoppable. But behind the scenes, trouble was brewing, and it all came crashing down in a shocking financial scandal. Imagine this, a group that had won Grammy Awards, MTV Video Music Awards, and Soul Train Music Awards found themselves drowning in debt. How could this happen? Let's dig into the story. It all started with their mega successful album, Crazy <laughs> Cool. This record was a game changer, selling millions worldwide and topping charts everywhere. But despite the massive earnings, over $175 million, TLC dropped a bombshell at the Grammys in 1996. They revealed they were broke. We have worked very hard. We have been in this business for five years. Five years. And we are broke as broke can be. How did this happen? Well, it turns out their contracts were a mess. Their manager, Pebbles, and the record labels they worked with were taking them for a ride. They were charging TLC for everything, from music videos to hotel stays. Even basic stuff like food and clothes were billed to the group. So, despite their huge success, TLC was left with almost nothing. But that's not all. Lisa left eye. Lopez, one-third of TLC, had her own struggles. Her relationship with football player Andre Risson was anything but smooth. It reached a boiling point when Lisa set fire to Andre's mansion during an argument. The aftermath was messy, legal trouble, probation, and a hefty bill to pay. You always end up with the person that you never expect to be with. And Andre, I didn't expect to be with him. The day they left, I burned down your house. You was telling me that it was more to the story, right? That's the same night as 
The black limousine, right? So the same day that she burnt was the same day that Tupac came to your house and picked her up. Lisa wanted to do more than just sing with TLC. She wanted to go solo. Her bandmates didn't like this idea, and they had some big arguments. Lisa was determined, though. Fast forward to 2002, tragedy struck. Lisa was in Honduras on a spiritual retreat when a terrible accident happened. A young boy ran in front of the minibus she was in, and he was hit and unalieved. Lisa was devastated. It was even more shocking because the boy's last name was Lopez, just like hers. Uh, we are afraid that he had brain death. No one, including Byron's family, reported the incident. His mother, Gloria Fuentes, later said, Why should we have called the police? Lisa was an excellent person. The way she treated me and took care of my son. Lopez paid Byron's hospital bills and later paid for his f And even though she wasn't at fault, the incident stuck with the singer. And she said, I don't think I'll ever get over it. Lopez had brought with her a video camera to record much of her trip and she spoke about the incident on tape. In one footage, which was later used in the VH1 documentary, The Last Days of Left Eye, Lopez said she felt as if a spirit was following her. This event haunted her until the very end. I don't think I will ever get Have you ever felt like something was going to happen before it actually did? That strange sensation of deja vu? Well, for Lisa, left eye, Lopez, it was more than just a feeling. It was a chilling reality. On April 25, 2002, tragedy struck again. Lisa was involved in a fatal car crash while filming a video in Honduras. The cameras were rolling, capturing her final moments. An eerie twist of fate that still sends shivers down the spine. Her groupmates struggled to move on from her death as well. We had all grown up together and were as close as a family. Today we have truly lost our sister, they wrote in a statement. According to her biography, they could hardly stand being in the studio, working on their next album, and hearing Lopez's voice from previous recordings. The group never replaced the singer. You can't replace a TLC girl, Thomas said, but they have honored her legacy in the years since by continuing to perform and using old footage of Lopez in her absence. I want to celebrate her life. Watkins said in 2017, I want to feel good about what we did together. I don't want to be in a dark place anymore. I want to feel like we built something great together and keep that going for her. But Lisa's story is just one of many. Biggie Smalls, Tupac Shakur, Avicii, and Amy Winehouse, all talented artists who met untimely ends, their deaths seemingly foretold in their lyrics. Tupac in particular had a connection with Lisa. She considered him her soulmate. Yet their love was never fully realized, and when Tupac predicted his own demise in his songs, it added another layer of tragedy to their intertwined stories. But the eerie premonitions don't stop there. Eminem's close friend Proof also foresaw his own death, rapping about it in haunting detail before it tragically came to pass. What is it about these artists that makes their lives seem like a script written long before the final act? Is it fate, coincidence, or something more profound? One of the most notorious incidents involving TLC's financial disputes with executive producer Clive Davis and Diddy was exposed by t in 2009 during an interview with Monique. The record company, Clive Davis, we held them hostage like whole shebang. So, of course, Lisa was the ringleader. So we went up there and held everybody hostage, and Puffy was the one that snitched us out. You live and learn in the business. It worked out well. We didn't go to jail, thank God. However, after the incident with Clive and Diddy, Lisa decided to split from her girl band and go solo. She signed with Sug Knight's Death Row in January of 2002 and put out her second solo album titled N.I.N.A., New Identity Not Applicable, under Death Row Records. What's more, Suge Knight claimed that he was intimate with Lops after she signed with Death Row in the Lifetime documentary series titled Hopelessly in Love, which details a love affair between Suge and Left Eye. Knight said, I had major love for her. I cared for her, but I knew her fiancé, Andre Rizon. We were cool, but I cared about Lisa. She went to one of my high-rises one time. She gave me a hug, and I sat back down in my chair and fired up a cigar. The doorbell rings, so I get up and open up the door, and they got the carts. It's all her clothes and suitcases. And she never went home, she showed up and never rolled out. 
Suge claims. We started hanging, and she's a great person. Many fans now suspect that Clive Davis and Diddy Combs were not pleased by Lisa's decision to join Death Row Records, which was basically their competitor. In fact, some fans even go as far as to claim that these music moguls allegedly did something to silence Lisa and stop her from building a career with Death Row. One fan commented on this saying, Left Eye was taken out whether people believe it or not. The industry slaves know it. In any case, throughout her career, Lisa Lopez never shied away from exposing the injustices and exploitation that often plagued artists in the entertainment world, particularly how elites such as Clive and Diddy allegedly used to harass artists. Lisa's family life wasn't easy either. Her father was strict, even abusive at times. He pushed her into drinking, despite his tough rules at home. Despite the turbulence, Lisa lived a remarkable life. Her talent and uniqueness shone through in her music. She made her mark in the industry, both with TLC and in her solo career. Lisa Left Eye, Lopez, wasn't just the cool rapper from TLC. She was a real creative powerhouse. She didn't just stick to one thing, she did it all. First off, she was amazing at writing songs. She wrote about stuff that mattered to her, like her life and things happening in the world, and she didn't stop there. Lisa teamed up with all sorts of musicians to try out new sounds and styles. She was always trying something fresh and different. But wait, there's more. She also got into making beats and sounds for her songs. She had a knack for mixing up cool sounds that no one else was doing. That's what made her music stand out. And hey, she wasn't just good with words, she could rap like nobody's business too. When she got on stage, she owned it. Her style was so unique, and her rhymes just flowed. But hold up, she didn't stop at music. Lisa even tried her hand at acting. She played all sorts of characters on screen, from serious roles to funny ones. She was a natural in front of the camera, bringing each character to life in her own special way. The story of TLC is one of triumph and turmoil. They reached unimaginable heights, only to crash down due to greed and exploitation. But through it all, they persevered. And while Lisa's life was far from perfect, her legacy lives on in the music she created. But she was more than just a singer. She was a force for good, helping people and standing up for what's right. Lisa cared deeply about making the world a better place. She worked hard to help kids, women, and anyone who needed support. One of the big issues she fought against was HIV AIDS. This disease was hitting some communities really hard, especially those with less money or resources. Lisa wanted to change that. She talked about HIV AIDS to raise awareness and money for research. She believed everyone should understand the disease and show kindness to those affected. But that's not all. Lisa also spoke out against domestic violence. She knew what it was like to suffer because she'd been through it herself. Instead of staying silent, she shared her story to help others. Lisa wanted people to know they weren't alone and that there were places to turn for help. Lisa didn't just talk the talk. She walked the walk. She didn't just give money, she gave her time and energy too. Whether she was singing at a charity concert, giving a speech, or working on community projects, Lisa was always there, ready to make a real difference. Even though Lisa is no longer with us, her legacy lives on. She showed us that no matter who you are, you can make a difference. Whether it's speaking up for those who can't, lending a helping hand, or spreading kindness, we can all follow Lisa's example and make the world a little brighter. So, yes, we can remember Lisa, Left Eye Lopes for all her good songs and memories, but we will never forget how strangely her death turned out to be. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.